Yes. Uh, uh, I just misplaced some strings in the previous example. So, uh, uh, I think you, uh, you understood the way how how we are going to write everything. Like uh, the z z the zeros and ones over here, the same procedure. Uh, if they are equal string, you must add uh, with the diagonal. And if they are different, just take the largest between these two. In this we are going to fill everything. The same thing I just copied onto the notebook. So, uh, this is like. F uh, so in the programming part we must do like this one like this one is uh, one part is preparing the matrix or I mean like uh, yeah fi fill filling the matrix then once we are done with this we I mean like now the next part what, what we must do is that finding the longest subsequence so how are we going to do with do this so I mean like first you must take the 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 this part this element is like the leftmost and rightmost bottom element the left most right, uh, bottom element then what we must do is a simple logic uh, which is like uh, if uh, one second yeah if uh, we find in, in first we must just uh, one second let, let me let's see over here uh, here is the coding part actually uh, in Java yes here is something how to find the longest subsequence here you can see this like must finally find the position the 7 is to 7 7 position is until they're not equal to 0 yes if the position are equal to so flat okay here is something like um, yes so here is 3 3 4 so 4 uh, so I mean like you must just move towards towards the side where it is I mean like if it is 4 then move towards the 4 side so we are going to move this side up 4 so if all the elements are 3 we say in the 4 element then you must go diagonally to the lower element so what must make it here mark mark this one this first this don't, don't mark this actually mark this one where there is some decrease in the element in all other elements so here it is so just take a note of it that is u that is u then my program what should do is like move to this diagonal element then just see like 3 2 2 so th there is something like 3 3 again so move this side Do don't mark this one move this side then 3 2 2 so just move this side here you can see the same thing the uh, uh, on for, uh, in all the adjacent elements of 3 there is a decrement of 1 so then mark this one so this is the second second element in subsequence that is a so uh, actually if you write in this way the answer would be fine answer would be you must read it, read it from this way so let, let me first uh, do it like this because the subsequence will always be like this but we are finding subsequence in this way so uh, okay we will reverse, reverse at the end so the second second element what we got is a so write a over here then we found all three adjacent less now move towards the diagonal element 2 don't mark it actually 2 so we have 1 1 2 so move towards 2 so here is a place where again all the elements adjacent to it are decreased decreased by 1 so mark this one this one is j so j this one is j then just see so if we f get this case move to the diagonal element see here 1 0 0 so there is one same value same face value something you can, you can see all the elements are decremented so mark this one so that is m m the final answer would be the reverse of this subsequence because we are finding in this way so the reverse of this is m j a u so this is the uh, longest subsequence solution so my program should work like this give the input s1 in this way mj something and S2 in some, some string like XM, the, the, the uh, Y axis, then the output should be M, J, A, U. Okay, this is, this is the way you should, do, you should work it. So, uh, understood how, how to mark it, I'll repeat it again. So, if, if there is same face value of, of this uh, current element, move to the direction, don't mark anything. So, if all adjacent elements are document 1, just mark it as one of the s solution and uh, and even move
move to the diagonal side. So 3, 3, 2, 2, just move towards 3. Next, 3, 2, 2, just move towards 3. See here, the 2, 2, 2, then mark it as one second solution and and move to the diagonal side. So just repeat this process. Finally, we have the lowest subsequence. So I'll just uh, show the coding which is available on internet. That's also I mean, like based on Wikipedia. So first of all, I'll show the solution, what you got. See, uh, for the strings x, a2, and y, this one, what we took as example, the longest subsequence of x and y will be mj2, what we got, actually. So here, mm, here is the solution, actually. Uh, this is in Java. So see, uh, the algorithm here is to the, do the second part, like this. Once, once this table is formed, how, how to find how, how to find a subsequence uh, this is the way I think uh, we should form the table we should f form the table then find the lens of it then uh, just compare unless it becomes 0 and 0 so you must do this process till it becomes 0 and 0 so here is one one solution but uh, maybe this one takes a long time so here also we can find someone which is efficient which which does it in very quick, very fast, reducing the number of yeah. This this solution I think is very fast. Uh, the, uh, the time complexity of this one is uh, very less, I believe. So this is the way we must uh, do coding for this longest subsequent problem. Uh, here are the website resources. I'll just give the URLs. Uh, one is uh, Wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash longest common subsequence problem and this one this link is for getting the uh, getting this, uh, the coding part http uh, one second e e n dot wiki books dot org slash wiki algorithm underscore implementation slash string slash longest common subsequence yeah this is the way we should do it. Thank you.